Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois. Today we're going to be talking about the finale of Season 3. There is a big teaser to do with the ending of the season and a potential Season 4 for Superman Lois. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. So this article is coming from TV Line, the link will be in the description below if you want to go read it. We have two separate articles, both from TV Line. The first one is titled Superman Lois Finale, CW Boss Teases Cliffhanger Ending Amid Ominous Renewal Chatter. So let's go ahead and jump into this. We all know where Superman Lois stands right now with the CW. This is mainly going to be our focus in this video. But the CW's top entertainment executive is teasing that the series upcoming season 3 finale will leave fans wanting more. Currently where we're at right now on the 4th of June, we have 3 episodes left of the season and then season 3 of Superman Lois is done. New network president Brad Schwartz, who is the head of the CW, said the ending of the season is amazing. As he gushed to TV line, he says you got some Lex Luthor in there. I don't want to give any spoilers, but the ending of the season is great and it's got a bit of a cliffhanger. Schwartz's finale tease came just moments after he weighed in on the show's very uncertain fate, acknowledging to reporters that while Superman Lois remains creatively very strong, it's expensive and it doesn't make money for them. What's more, Schwartz noted, we don't have the rights to prior seasons and you need to have the library for people to find a show and the prior seasons are all on. HBO Max, which is now Max, and so a decision on whether Superman Lois will live to see a fourth season as well as the fate of other shows like Gotham Knights and All American Homecoming will be made sooner rather than later. So let's go ahead and break this down. This is just a short article, this first one, but he gives us some great insight into what's happening in Superman Lois. So obviously Superman Lois has been great all season long and it's been great for its three seasons that it's been running on the CW and now he's teasing that the ending of the season is going to have a cliffhanger. Now obviously that cliffhanger is coming as a surprise because we really don't know and as this article acknowledges the fate of Superman Lois is up in the air. And that's because the CW is cutting back on all their costs basically dumping all of their shows that they previously had, obviously this is since Nexstar took over the network and they have very different ideas of how to run the network. And so quite honestly when I first read this like a week ago, I was really surprised that they actually ended it on a cliffhanger. Now I'm not sure if they get told the news that season 3 is going to be the last season on the CW, they would change the ending, like maybe they've shot two endings and you wouldn't have that cliffhanger, or they actually want to end it on a cliffhanger because they're optimistic about the show continuing. Maybe it's not on the CW, maybe it's just on Max, but the show will continue nevertheless. So that kind of tells me, or at least indicates, that the Superman Lois showrunner Todd Helbing has some sort of hope for the future if he is planning to end it on a cliffhanger. So what do you guys make of this? Let me know down in the comments below. Does this give you some sort of optimism about the future of Superman Lois? It definitely gives me some optimism, but really, I have to say, I don't think we can believe anything that the CW is currently saying right now because they've said lots of stuff and they go back on their word a lot. And so in terms of Lex Luthor being teased, we know that he's going to be coming for a long time. Actually, the casting was announced way before Superman Lois Season 3 even began airing. And so I've been expecting him for a long time, but it turns out I think he's just in these last two, three episodes. We'll have to wait and see this week as to if he actually shows up. But yeah, this is going to be a great season ending, apparently, according to the head of the CW. And right now... Even though the show remains very strong creatively, according to the head of the CW, it remains a very expensive show for them to produce. Let's go over to the second article from TV Line. Again, this will be in the description below, so you can check it out if you want to after this video. But this is basically leading on from what I was just talking about, about the CW and their renewal and cancellation decisions, because we had a bunch of other shows cancelled, a couple weeks back and we were expecting to hear about the fate of Superman Lois and Gotham Knights back kind of mid-May. This article came out May 18th so it's been a while but I've been thinking about it and I think now is the right time to kind of talk about it because still they haven't made a final decision 
on Superman Lois, Gotham Knights, and also All American Homecoming, which is another CW show that I believe should continue, just like all of these other shows, but the way things are right now, these decisions are going to be pretty brutal, and I don't really see more than two of these shows surviving. And so at a press conference on the Thursday in mid-May, the head of the CW outlined and offered an update on the status of remaining in limbo series Superman, Lois, Gotham Knights and All-American Homecoming. He said, we love all three shows, we'll be making decisions sooner rather than later. And Superman Lois, again, he goes on to emphasize, is creatively very strong, it does well in broadcast and it does well on digital, but it's expensive and doesn't make any money for us. We don't have the rights to prior seasons, we talked about this, because HBO Max have the rights to that, so it goes straight over there, and the CDW doesn't really have a big catalogue, and they don't make money on the sales of, say, the DVD release. I believe that goes straight to Warner Brothers. I could be wrong about that correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below but the article goes on to emphasize that the next star owned CW has renewed all American for season 6 Walker for season 4 while DC Stargirl the flash Kung Fu Nancy Drew Riverdale Walker Independence and the Winchesters are all either ended or ending and in the case of Stargirl it was cancelled in the case of the flash it wasn't cancelled actually I think it kind of ended at the perfect time for the CW because we would have really been debating will we get another season of the flash and thankfully we don't have to have that debate we are having that debate about Gotham Knights and Superman and Lois right now and it's nerve-wracking if I'm being completely honest because we don't know the future of these DC TV shows that we love right and Kung Fu was cancelled I believe Nancy Drew was cancelled I could be wrong about that Riverdale was ending and Walker Independence and the Winchesters both got cancelled too they have campaigns right now to try and save those shows I would really like that to actually happen because if say Superman Lois or Gotham Knights got cancelled it would be great if someone were to pick it up after the ending of the current seasons right now and so, among scripted CW originals, that leaves the aforementioned Superman and Lois currently airing Season 3, and Gotham Knights currently airing Season 1, still on the fence. And the buzz has been that the CW may save only two of three US scripted shows, leaving maybe one last slot open because they've already renewed All American and Walker, which are two scripted shows. So potentially out of Superman and Lois, Gotham Knights, and All American Homecoming, maybe only one of them survives. I don't know what that'll be, I have a feeling it could be All-American Homecoming or potentially Gotham Knights because it's reportedly one of the cheapest and most affordable shows that DC has ever done over on the CW and in the case that Superman Lois does end, I don't think it's going to be cancelled, I think possibly there is a chance it goes over to Max. We've had suggestions about that recently, that there have been talks behind the scenes between the CW and Max to potentially pick up Superman Lois for a season four and maybe a season five as well. We know that James Gunn is a big fan, so it would make sense if they wanted to save the show because it's such good quality and it's one of the best Superman shows ever. And I see no reason why Max wouldn't continue it for like two seasons. And I've said this before and I'll say it again, I think honestly this would be the best decision for Superman Lois because keeping at the CW that would mean max one season more and I'm pretty sure they would cancel it straight after that or they would have to end it because it would just be too expensive for their current plans and I think Max can afford to pay a bit more and obviously they have it in their catalog and they will be able to have it on their streaming service which they just recently relaunched as they rebranded from HBO Max to just Max and I think a show like Superman and Lois would bring in a whole new audience obviously that being the Arrowverse audience that the CW previously had and so obviously the CW would be losing out on that but they don't particularly care about that as far as we know right now but potentially James Gunn and DC Studios may see the value in having an Elseworld Superman TV show go on whilst the DCU is happening over on Max because I think it would only be beneficial for them despite being kind of expensive but it's well watched and even the CW has admitted that it does good numbers but it just doesn't make them a load of money however it could benefit Max in a much bigger way and so for Gotham Knights I really have a feeling that season one might be the end it might be a 
limited series as we've all been joking about for a long time since Gotham Knights was coming out at the same time that next I was making all these changes and cancelling all these shows but as I said before it's very cheap to make compared to other DC TV shows so potentially they see the value in keeping one DC show on the network considering it's been such a big thing in their schedule for the last 10 plus years so that pretty much does it for this video guys if you want to go check out these articles they will be in the description below you just click on the link and you can go check them out but for now hopefully you guys are excited for the final episodes of superman lois season three we got three more very excited to break them down week by week with you guys so for now thank you guys so much for watching Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video, it helps out the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. But for now you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video and I will catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.